Welcome back. So before we start coding, we need to pick an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Now, I've just picked WebStorm, but you can also use Visual Studio Code. WebStorm is not for free. You can use it for 30 day trial and then you have to pay for it. But I'm going to use WebStorm anyway because uh, I'm actually an educator, so I have it for free anyway. And you guys can also get it for free if you're a student. So try and check that out if you want to use WebStorm. Or you can also use Visual Studio Code. It's not a bad thing to work with. It actually has a lot of great features in there and it keeps improving because it's an open source system that you'll just see getting better and better. Now there are other IDEs out there as well you can go and pick from. I'm just kind of into these two and that's why I'm going to pick one of them. And right now it's going to be WebStorm. I have a guide on WebStorm on how to set up, how to download it, how to get into a terminal, but I'll just show you now anyway how to actually open the terminal. Because when you launch your WebStorm, it'll look something like this and you probably won't have the window you see right there in the bottom here called the terminal. So let me just try and hide that. If you have something like this, uh, you're going to go into view, you're going to tools and you're going to open your beautiful, beautiful terminal right here. And there we go. Now we have the terminal. Let me just clear that by pressing uh, command K in the Mac, control K probably inside the Windows machine, I'm not sure, you'll figure it out. So now we have a terminal. Now we need that to start building our application next time. So now we've picked an IDE, an integrated development environment, and next lesson we can start making some code. See you next time.